I feel like, you know, people actually wear these. Like, I mean, it's one thing to buy, like, non-prescription glasses to look hipster, but when they're actually 3D glasses, people know for certain they're not prescription. Hi. Hi, we're gonna start now. Ready? Wait, no, let me get my teeth. Three. You have ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Hey. It looks like I don't have eyebrows when I wear these. Now. I do, look, uh, there they are. The, the kettle. It's oh, stopped. it's done. It was like <laughs> rocking back and forth. <laughs> I boiled. I boiled. <laughs> That's what I do if I was a kettle. <laughs> Shall I introduce it? Can you move the cheese? Because it's in the way of my trousers. Oh. Hello, IGN. We are back with a video, not about lesbians for once. We have had the last three have been about lesbians. Yeah, but that seems to be like the new thing. That. When aren't things about lesbians? Everything's about lesbians. Everything should be about lesbians. Okay. So, right, this is our Prometheus review, which I always say wrong. I always call it Prometheus. I always call it Promiscuous. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna review it. It's got mixed reviews so far, but we went and saw it a few days ago. And really quickly, we're just gonna say what we thought of it, and then we're gonna go in depth. Okay, so... Before we start, we should shout out to Princey, who's our new YouTube follower. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hey, Princey. I liked that. You liked it. I liked that. A lot. I really, 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 really liked it. Hello? Hello? Oh, I want my tea. I can't talk without tea. England, yeah. Oh, by the way, did you guys in America or whatever country you're from, um, the the Jubilee, the Queen's thing? But is that is that in other countries? Because it's a huge deal. Like, the whole country's been celebrating. We had a tea party. It was good. I got into a suit. So yeah, Prometheus. I'm not usually passionate about films, but I loved this film so much. It was awesome. It was so good. Oh right, the reason we really wanted to see it is because we're huge fans of Alien and the whole Alien franchise. Watched all four Alien, well no, apart from the third one because we pretend that didn't happen like loads of times. That's not a pretend the fourth one happened. I don't mind the fourth one as much, but the first one's the best one. The thing is, it's not like the first Alien at all, which I feel people should know, but I feel like the people that don't like this film are the ones that were expecting it to be like another alien mm. film. It's completely oh, different. And also we should say, in the trailer you see a xenomorph decorated onto a wall I showed you. Yeah. That's not in the film. There are no xenomorphs in the film. No. The plot, kind of, we won't give away spoilers, but the plot. The main character, the kind of new Ripley, is um, Elizabeth Shaw, and she's an archaeologist, scientist thing, and her and her boyfriend slash husband... Husband. Oh, is it? Wedding. Oh, wedding yeah. Friend. Have been studying these cave paintings, which all depict. Can I talk about it? Because I'm an archaeologist. Okay. They have found images from different societies across different time spans, cave paintings, and then there's Assyrian, Egyptian, Hawaiian, and, and they all depict people worshipping giant men pointing at five orbs, which are apparently meant to be stars, but in the same pattern. And there's one constellation miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles away. Which has a sun, yeah. Which has a sun, which has which has a planet, which has a moon, and that moon can hold life. They get funding for this mission, and a couple years after from the Wayland Corporation, they they go and they they basically go to this solar system to try and find what they call the engineers. They believe that these cave paintings are an invitation to come and find the creator, or well, the engineers, because they say that um, they've engineered us, humans. They think that this is where we come from, and find out, and basically that's the film. Yeah, so the film is them, they get to this planet, and it's basically, we won't spoil anything, but it's not what they expected. So, the say acting, what did we think of the acting? I liked the acting, I love Charlize Theron, I want her to have babies with Michael Fassbender, and I want those babies to be my babies. <laughs> yes. 
everyone in this film. The acting was so good. It was amazing. I mean, the acting was good, but in Alien films, usually I think the acting's good. Um, and there were big shoes to fill with Sigourney Weaver, but I think Numi really is, is such a likeable character. Um, and the character development, which is something that I think the Alien series kind of missed a little bit. You did get very attached to Ripley, but I think that's more because you liked her because she was such a badass, as opposed to you didn't really know what she was about. You liked Ripley because she was the first female yeah. badass. Elizabeth, you really get to understand what drives her. She's very religious, but sign like she's a scientist, so there's a lot of conflict, and you kind of you really understand why she's motivated to do this and you really want her to succeed in what she's doing which makes it a lot more stressful to watch but more yeah, enjoyable <laughs> Meredith, Meredith Vickers. Vickers she is awesome she's basically playing the same character though in every film but that's it's a good character she plays the bitch so well she's really like I don't think she is a bitch in the film or she sort of is I just think she has incredible survival instinct it's a rare person that would be as brave as the crew are but um, yeah, so the acting was really good, the characters are really likeable. Um, whereas in the first Alien, you don't know any of the characters, they're just a random crew that bad things happen to. Whereas this is like more than a horror film with random characters, this is like you're invested in it. We should discuss Michael Fassbender as David the Android. I really liked his character, I he played him, him so well, because it's kind of eerie when you have a robot, but you can tell there's so much more depth than just a robot. You can tell, like, there's things going on in his head, and that he's kind of got his own personality, um, but you're not sure whether you like it or not. I like his cheekbones. He's, he's got an awesome face. He's, like, such a good sci-fi person. Oh my god, that's actually it. Hmm. He... That was... I'm Michael Fassbender! See, I saw him in an interview, apart from the cheekbones. <laughs> the visual effects. It was in 3D, which is why he's wearing these glasses. Made it kind of like the surreal kind of... The first thing, like the opening sequence was like breathtaking and the shots in it are so good. Like you feel like every shot that's happening is done for a reason and it's really smooth and it's really sleek and it kind of adds to the futuristic feel of it and it's really clean and it looks really good. And the music isn't the music awesome? The music is. They've so come good. up with this like really unique score that they play every time, and it sounds I'm so to good. I can't remember the sound of it. it. Yeah, it's a violin, and it reminded me of Jurassic Park. But to me, it sounds like one of those really iconic, like you know, everyone recognizes Star Wars, everyone recognizes mm. Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones. It sounds like it. It has its own sound to it. It's none of this kind of screechy horror. <laughs> it was like really kind of spacey and like eerie. It was cool. The aliens. Yes, there's a lot of different types of aliens, which all seem to be that's, based on... I think that's the one thing animals. that I think, like, is slightly annoying about it. Like, most really good films like Terminator, Alien, it's all about one thing. It's all, mm. you know, whereas this, it was like, your attention was spread over, and there was like, there's different types of aliens involved in it, which some people like and some people won't. It's not exactly hard to follow, but you kind of like it when the attention's on one really badass alien. I did not care much for the space jockeys. Yeah, that's because the engineers. The aliens in Alien are like epically sneaky fucks. And they're like always there, but they sneak up. I mean, these ones, space jockeys, are like 8 foot tall. But I think I looked up, they might be 12 foot tall. Yeah, they're, they're taller than that. And ridiculously muscly, and they don't go around being a sneaky fuck, they just walk in and start killing. I thought, I found it... They are like Terminators. At first I didn't like it, but then I got used to it. I found it really odd to see kind of a human-looking alien in an alien film. You know, aliens and predators, mm. really monstrous things. And these things, well, they're the creators, so they should look human. But it was kind of odd, because you're like, I'm kind of scared of you, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I, I The design of Alien, I can't remember who did it, it begins with G, it has a really funny name, was epic. And I just wanted them to be slightly more creative than a very pale human. Yeah, no, I do get that. I, yeah. Aliens are part human. Um, anyway, we won't go into detail about how, how all these different aliens come together, but basically, there are a lot, it, you're introduced to a lot of different types of aliens. They're all kind of connected, but there are a lot of different forms. Whereas you're used to, in the first alien, it was like a drone. You know, and it's just, and then there's a queen. Going maybe. around droning. But yeah, like you're used to. So I think that's the one thing that I've kind of found difficult to deal with, but I still liked it. I think Pete, if you're going to watch it, you need to realise that it's not an alien film. It doesn't it's even a, lead into alien. Not, not that well, no. 
Um, there but are little, it drops little hints for Alien fans. It's a film based in the universe of Alien. I'd class this film as like a horror action because actually it does get really scary at some bit. Not jumpy scary, but it's there are some bits that are actually quite gory and quite like harrowing. So what would you give this film? I'm gonna give this a seven. Really? Yeah. I'm probably gonna give it between an eight and a nine. Well, I'm giving it a because seven and a point three. I'd, well, I'd go and watch it again like another six times. I really liked it, we but I'm. I'm annoyed because after watching it, after watching it, I really liked it, but I was like, oh no, this is gonna cause like an uproar with the fans, because I can tell there's gonna be some people out there that won't like it. Um, but I think you just need to be open-minded when you're watching it. But I think it was good, and I recommend you go and see it. It's you don't have to have seen any of the Alien films to enjoy it. I always think it's better if you don't. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. Go and see the film. Comment on what you thought of it if you've seen it. Uh, oh, and also say what's your favourite alien film out of the. And film? if you say three or four. If you say don't. three, then you're stupid. <laughs> okay. Bye. Arr!